Welcome to another Singularity of the Day. If you take a look at our last video, you'll see how I was able to create these three different mesh types. So today's question is, how do I change them? Pretty straightforward. Take a look at the simulation study tree. We just right click on the component of interest and we are presented with the appropriate option. So in this case with the beam element, I can switch this to say, treat it as a solid. Likewise, for the sheet metal part that was automatically recognized as a shell mesh, right click and I can treat a solid as well. Notice, I could also treat it as a beam if I wish. And maybe for our solid component, right click and choose treat as beam. So notice I can go a couple different ways here depending on what exactly you're after. Now one important task here when we change from beams, if we turn beams on or off for different components, we need to address the joint group. That's why we get a little warning there. So just right click, edit, and recalculate our joints. So as you can see we no longer have joints for the component that used to be a beam, but we do have these joints for our new component. So when we create our mesh, we'll see the respective meshes. Beam, solid, solid. So it's just a right click away here to change the different mesh types for your components. So happy meshing.